Hey guys, it's your watching, because you one and only, my name is AJ, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build A City, episode 151. If you missed last episode, I highly recommend you go and see it, because it was the big 150, an hour long world tour, where we got to go through all of the buildings, and seek to find buildings that I hadn't looked at for ages, so it was really, really fun to record, I hope it was really, really fun to watch, so go back and check that out if you haven't already. Today, we are up on the mountain, on the airport side on the mountain, you know, northwest-ish, uh, because we've got this flat piece of space here, and I was a little bit um and about what I wanted to put here, but I've decided that I want some larger houses up here, houses bigger than the little suburban ones down there, maybe a little bit nicer, a little bit more higher end. We've got the modern houses on the other side, and on this side, I just want sort of the, house, the style of house that we have on the private island there, a little bit more elongated, so, you know, some porches, things like that, things you don't really get on these smaller suburban houses. So I was sent through one by Red Creeper on Twitter, and I really like this one. It's got a nice combination of stone, or some type of stone, maybe an andesite stone could work really well, gravel could even work, it might look a little bit weird, but that could work, stone brick, anything like that. We don't have any paths on these roads because they're up in the mountain, so we can very easily get away with the andesite style blocks, the, uh, what is it, this one? And then it's got wood, is the other block. Now, wood might not look quite as nice in uh, our house. We might want to change it to a clay, but we'll start off with the wood. It's a nice birch wood. The planks are going the correct ways, so we're going to give that a go. I might need some sort of lighter smooth stone. Um, stairs. Uh, I, I, they're very similar to wood, but there is a difference, and it's actually very close to the, the type of contrast that we have on the picture. As you can see, it's a little bit whiter, especially with these shaders on. If we turn them off, there definitely is a difference. So we'll go with that, and then we're going to need, obviously, a nice roof as well. You know, I might go with the stone brick for the roof. They look a little bit more like tiles, like the picture does. This isn't a real house. Uh, it might be modelled off a real house, but the picture that I'm looking at here is actually like a computer-generated house, and uh, I really, really like it. So we've got a little bit of room to play with, a little bit of depth. So we don't have to have the house <clears throat> right on the front of the road here. We can have a little bit of a driveway coming back. Uh, and from the looks of the picture, it doesn't have an actual garage. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stick down a, uh, a little bit of a parking area on the right-hand side. And then the house is going to be on the left. And it's going to have a path, oops, a path that leads from the front door to the right to the car parking area. Over here, I might also curve it down to the road. So you actually have to go down quite a long path to get to the front door. But I really like the feel of that. I'm going to leave this part untouched, though. I want a lot of this room for the university when it comes to it. So I don't want to get too close to it, which is why I'm not going to level this area out and build it over here. Right, so let's get started then. We're going to want to have a stone foundation, a block that sits underneath the first layer of birch, just to give the house a little bit of a lift. I think we've got a nice amount of room out the front here for any type of uh, fencing or hedging or garden that we want. And it gives us a nice amount of room out the back here for potentially a little bit of a back garden while also keeping a nice depth on the house. So... We want to go from here, which is where the chimney is going to be. Probably a three block wide chimney. We'll give ourselves three blocks on either side. So it's a nice three block wide chimney like that. Three blocks on either side. And we're going to go into a window. We're not going to do exactly how the uh, picture shows us. We're going to be using a little bit of our own inspiration for it here. We're going to be sticking a picture, a, a picture, a window here. And then we're going to come out very, very slightly, only by like two blocks. And we're going to go into a bay window. One of these cool windows that sort of drop out a little bit. So I'll probably do that four blocks wide. Sounds about right. I'll have a little bit of sort of white snow or something. I might put some blocks down here just to keep me uh, reminded. Something like that up there. I think the white will really make some parts pop. We might try and do some white detailing around the windows, maybe using our quartz slabs as the window edges, because that really set this house off the white will. Because there's going to be a lot of grey, a lot of sort of yellowy browns being the birch and sandstone. We're then going to have a nice uh, porch out here. It's only going to be a slab high. It's not going to be a tall uh, porch at all. So we're going to go slab. We're going to pick a nice dark one, probably this nice sort of uh, road color one. And I might put them here for the minute, but it might end up being uh, full blocks there of a different type. So a nice four block wide porch here. Oh, we are getting a little bit close to the road. I didn't quite realize I might cut that down to three. 
And then I might move it back a little bit and not have a back door. Let's do that. We'll have that one. Do that one. It's crazy how big a Minecraft house can get, isn't it? Like, really, really quickly. Cut. Paste. Oops. Nope. Don't want to do that. There we go. We're giving ourselves some more room out the front here now. Perfect. Okay, then go into the front door. We'll leave two blocks for the front, uh, two blocks beside the front door. Then we'll leave two blocks for the front door. And then we want to go into. Well, there was a little window on the side of the door. Now nah, I'm going to leave that. I don't want that. And then that's where the porch ends. So this is going to come out to here. Uh, maybe to here. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. No, we'll do it to there. Like that. And then there's going to be another large window in here. One of those sort of. Almost ceiling to floor windows, you know, full sized ones that go in here. We're going to do that. I probably think another four blocks wide. Be a nice big one. Four blocks wide in here. And then it doesn't go there. And then it comes out again. But this time, oops, these should be this block. Just as a reminder. But then this part is actually all stone. We're going to use this as an entirely sort of uh, andesite texture section. So it's going to come out two blocks and around the corner. A window is going to start there. And it's going to go all the way up and it's going to go to a little tiny sort of peak at the top. So we might as well put that in about now. The window's three blocks high probably. So there's our first peak in like that. It's got, um, what do you call them? Like, uh, trap doors, that's one. Trap doors down either side to make a sort of um, shutter on some of these windows. I really like that. We'll be putting those in at the end. It might mean, though, that we drop these windows down, some of these windows down to 2 by 2s because I think 2 by 2 windows look better with trap doors on either side than 3 by 3 Sometimes they look a little bit long. We'll have to see what it looks like at the end. So we'll drop this back in now for what is pretty much the last part of the building there is a little bit of an extension on the back but i don't know if we're going to do it we might leave it out it's going to come down here another little window in here i'm trying to sort of condense the size of the house a little bit now so we don't go too crazy large uh nope they are that block before i confuse myself and then this is going to be the edge this could be quite a little bit longer this could be like about that length is there any window yeah, we can have a nice four wide window in there. So there's the front blueprint of the house. Very in and out, isn't it? That's what I really liked about this house. There's no simplicity to it. Every every area has a little corner, external or internal, and it bends the house in some really nice ways. For the back here, we're going to have to make it up for ourselves because we don't have the picture as a reference. So we're going to have to sort of do what we think would look right. Because this is like an extension on the building, I'm going to keep that mirrored. We have to do a peak like this as well, but we don't have to necessarily bring it out quite as far. I, I'm going to do two blocks out. Like this. And then it's going to come in. Maybe a little bit more than it was on the front. So it gets a little bit thin here, like a little bit of a hallway. Maybe not that thin. Like that. So it just comes in like an extra block over here. I'm going to... Make it go thinner here as well, like a little entrance portrait. My house has a very thin entrance, very thin entrance, so um, in real life. So I think I want to do the same thing here. Then we're going to come out for the lounge area, which I expect would be on this side. So there's our blueprint. Nice and simple, nothing too complicated. I could even bring this out to have a little bit of a um, an extra section on here. I think that would be really cool, right? Really nice. Maybe a little bit of space for a back garden. Maybe even a small pool could fit in there. I don't know. Maybe it's not that type of house. This is more of a traditional house. Uh, I don't like this slab either. Uh, we'll probably go with spruce. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more of a traditional house. I don't think we want to go with pools and that kind of thing here. Yeah, birch is much... Uh, the spruce is much better than the, uh, the sort of dark stone. All right, wonderful. We've got some pillars as well that we need to fit in, but I'm not going to really do too much on the pillars until I've got all the walls up because then I know exactly where, what height they need to go up to and where they're going to connect up to. If we're going to do three block high windows, then we want to probably start around here. Get the, not that one. Get these birch ones in. So there's our first window here. 
this goes up to here. That means our first story is going to end at that level. I like to do a house where I work up level by level or floor by floor. So I start with the ground floor and I slowly make my way up. This is going to be the uh, fireplace like we said at the beginning. So that could all be stone. This is too thin to have a window in. So we don't need to put any windows in on this little corner here. This part can have a window. I want to have a nice big window in here if we can. Not quite that big, but uh, um, you know what? We could have a nice big window like that. Or we could block it up completely and have that where the TV would be mounted on the wall. If you have too many windows in a house, it can look a little bit weird, can't it? I can have a thin window here. What would a thin window look like? You know, I'm really, I'm already thinking about dropping all of these windows down by one block. I'll carry on for now. The bonus, the the bonus with dropping down uh, these windows by one block uh, allows the whole building to be about two or three blocks lower by the end of it. Once you've done it with the second floor and possibly a third floor. So there are some real advantages to doing that. However, the 2x2 two two windows on a house that is this size might look a little bit too small. So, I, I'm really not sure yet. I'm trying to leave myself some, uh, some just some wall space for whenever we get around to doing interior to some of these houses. We'll have some space to put shelvings, TVs, kitchens, all those kind of things where windows would very much get in the way. 2x2 two two window nicely in the middle there. Oh, this should be stone though, shouldn't it, to match the other side. Like that. This one. And down here. Perfect. Carrying on round here. Just keep with the windows that we've just planned out just a moment ago. Nice big 4x4 four four window here on the side. This will probably be a dining room, I think. If when it comes around to it, and having a nice big window on the side and the table sort of going this way would look sick, right? Nice uh, amount of light coming through into an area where, that you want to be bright for. And then there we go. So it's that side. Oh, we have big bay window at the front here. And then back round to the front door again. Like that. Beautiful. Maybe a little high there. We might put some slabs, some stairs or something like that. But it gives, gives us a, a good impression. I really like the combination of birch and stone at the moment. It's looking really nice. I think with some accenting of some uh, white slabs and stuff like that, especially around this bay window that looks a little bit weird at the minute, um, I reckon this could be really, really cool. Stop spelling things wrong. If we have... See, that instantly makes uh, a lot more sense. We could have it here and have the windows actually set back a little bit or something like that if we wanted to. Or we could just have it, oops, like that to match the um, top side as well. Yeah. And then those on the windows. I'll just do them on the front for the minute. Yeah. Boy, does that white really set things off. All right. Awesome. Starting, uh, we should probably actually do the pillars now. In fact... The pillars and some of the peaks of where some of these parts of the buildings are going to finish. So we've got the entrance here. We're going to want to have, I think, a pillar on the front here. So I'm going to do that one. And I might go with sandstone here. So they go up to there. The same over here. I want it to be in line with that. I might bring this out by one more. If I bring this out by one more, it then doesn't connect diagonally to that. Uh, one block. That one. I want another one on the side here. And then we'll move this one back by one as well. Make this one block wider. A bit more of a porch for us. Stop the weather. And then we can have a little bit of a fence or something going along the front here. Nothing too crazy. We can do an upside down. Oops upside down stair with some colored fence just normal colored fence will be fine like that looks really neat blends in really nicely i uh, will have that one going down there 
I don't think I need to go to that. I could do that if I wanted to. I don't think it really makes any difference whatsoever on how the buildings look. And then one over here, right? I might have to put two in. I might have to put another one in like that. So it curves around upside down. And then just get the uh, two fences in like that. Okay, really, really cool. Then we have the uh, sl a little bit of a slanted roof. We have a peak on the front here as well. So we shall grab some of that action. We then want to get the stairs. This is going to be a little bit of a tricky roof, this building, for sure. There's, it's not going to be easy. So we're going to have uh, these on the as the main part of the roof. But then we want this as the edging. So it's going to be a, a, a double roof colouring. We've done this on a few houses down the, uh, the bottom of the hill. Okay. Then I want this to go along here. Ooh. No, I don't. I want this to go along here. Like that. Uh, or do we want slabs, actually? Because it's going to be a... I want to have a, a very low increase. Uh, I think this part, we probably want to go with the slabs. So let's get some of those slabs. And I got rid of the stairs that I needed. Of course I would. And... We'll get those stairs back as well. Let's reverse the order of that. So I've got them all together. So if we go with the slabs out here. And one more there. And then we can do a very slow half slab increase up. It might even be too fast still. I might do one. And then yeah, two. And two. That would look a lot better. We have this. There, there, oops, this one, which is where going to be the perfect height for our next floor, you see. And then this one can just go up the side of the windows like a so. I like a so. Uh, and then that one goes there as well. This one shouldn't need the uh, sandstone because this should just connect up like that I might swap those that one could be a slab like that stair there stair on this side and then stair down if I can click correctly like so alright yes I like it Good, great start that's what we want to see there is like an orange roofed part, an orange tiled part on here. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it the same um, grey. I don't like the red there. I don't know why it's like that. Um, but yeah, i really, really not a fan of that. Uh, there. Yes. Okay. Uh, also, uh, I've pretty much just noticed quite interestingly about this house is that it's... It's a house, but sort of more of a bungalow in a way, because we've got the main ground floor. And although there are windows on the second floor, it's in the sort of attic space. It's in the area where the roof is going to be quite tight in some sections. We might be able to get away with doing a small second story up there then with some stairs. Uh, but it's very likely that um, it'll just be like uh, a staircase up to either one room, one somewhat largest but strangely shaped room or having two staircases one going up to one half and another going up to another half something like that could be very interesting okay we then want these running across the front here this one joining up to here they can be taken away excellent around this side here uh, we can then have ooh yeah, no, that works, ish. I might be able to do that, or that. Yeah, if I do that, and then replace that with that, it's the same as that side then. Does that still look okay under here? It looks fine under there. So yeah, now it's the same stair as there and there. And then this breaks into the stairs to go around the side here. I'm loving these colours, by the way. Alright, so this section now goes into a peak. Uh, that one, and that one. This one, that one, that one, that one. So 
something about that height. And then we have that one, that one, that one, that one. Uh, slab in the middle. And then that one. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little bit confused for a minute. These up the side here. Always put the upside down slabs as you go. Otherwise you'll forget and it'll look weird and you'll come back to it days later and realize how terrible one of the sides looks. Always put these upside down ones in as you go. Don't wait to do them until the end. Uh, this comes around. Ooh, that should be light color. Around the edge here. Again, we're going to have to make up the back for ourselves i want to try and do as many peaks as we can no matter what height they sort of end up being because we want to try and give ourselves as much room on this second floor as possible so i'm going to put a peak in here like that run these gray ones up first then the light sandstone ones on the side once all of these peaks have been done you can then pretty easily fill in all of the center areas. It'll look like a huge job, uh, but it'll go quite quickly if you just stick to what you know, uh, the easy parts first, and then finish off with the harder sections. It'll make things a lot easier. I'm going to have that flat, but then this part is going peak into peak. Yeah, we can do a peak into a peak. So we're going to have a peak here. into another peak here and we want to make sure this is at the same height which it is there so it's like a big peak into a small peak tricky little section here not an easy one some people struggle with roofs whenever i do a house especially um because ha most houses have roofs like this I try and stick with you for as much as I can for it because I know uh, a lot of people struggle with them. I say it every time. You're probably getting bored of me saying that. Uh, but I'll stick with you for as long as possible until it comes to the really easy sections. And then I'll just leave you to it because from there you guys should be able to work out. We're also getting very much towards the end of today's episode. So we'll have to carry on with this next time. Have that one in here. It's going to be a little tricky part to connect up. I don't know if it will. Um... But we'll have a quick look now. If not, I'll have to have a think about it between now and next episode. There and there. No, you know what? That should. We'll do one here. And then we'll do one that folds around the corner. Perfect. That will never connect up. That's way too high. Um, as you can see, that's actually one block lower than that. It's meant to be. That's how the peaks uh, work with the building. We'll run this. Do I want another peak here? I could have a peak on this side and on that side. Although I'd want it to be symmetrical with the window, though. So it'd have to be like that. Which looks a little bit weird for the moment, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. That, that one, that one, that one, that one. But not the next one, because that's going to go up here. And this goes like that. Put these underside ones in. That joins up nicely there. Perfect. And that should, if we do that one, no, a full block. I'll just do two slabs for the moment. And then put that one on top of that. And then put that one there. That's how we'll connect those two together. Uh, this comes around here to another peak. So many triangles. So many. That one goes away. Like that. Up this side. Down this side. Oh, it's looking so good. I just saw a glimpse of the rest of the house then. Under the side here. I like the birch. We haven't got... I don't think we've got a wooden house anywhere on the world. I might be, There might be some spruces accenting in some of the houses. But not as like a main building block. So this is this is pretty much a first for the city. I'm always really tentative about using wood. Because it sometimes doesn't quite go well. But this one so far I'm really happy with. So we want to do the same tricks as what we used on the other side. Because it should be about the same peak. Yeah that connects up like it did on the other side. We put the two slabs in there. We put the stair there. And then we connect the two together. 
like that. So there's all of the peaks done. Should be all of the peaks done on the house. It's now just a matter of connecting up all of the stairs. It should go relatively smoothly next episode with that. We'll start off with that. We'll get that all out of the way. Then we'll fill in with all the glass. We'll do a bit of a garden. And it should be a nice cracking house. It's, it's a big house though, isn't it? That's why I didn't build it down there. Because it really wouldn't have fit, it, uh, fit in. But I think right by the airport, a little bit more expensive house. Higher up in the mountain. It's the perfect style of traditional house as well to suit the environment. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.